Hey all, uh, welcome back to Neon's Movie Reviews. Uh, I'm Neon, this is my review channel. Um, but today, we're not going to waste any time, we are talking about Creep 2. And uh, before I talk about this film at all, this film is the sequel to Creep. Uh, if you have not seen Creep, this is going to be the, the non-spoiler section of this review. Um, I think that's about all I can say for a non-spoiler review, um, without also spoiling Creep. So, if you've not seen Creep or the sequel, stop this video, go watch those movies. You'll you'll thank me later. Um, if you did not enjoy those videos, you probably aren't going to be coming back to hear what I thought about these movies anyway, since I highly recommended them to you and wasted your time. Um, it's very unlikely that's going to happen, though, because these films are fantastic. But, um, all right, so that out of the way. Um, sequel, I'm going to give 8 out of 10. That's wrapping up the, the spoiler-free section. Diving deep into spoilers. So, to, and, and, and this is going to be talking about both Creep and Creep 2 here, because to talk about Creep 2 properly, I do need to talk about the original Creep. Um, and this will also serve as the spoiler section of Creep. So, um, but in Creep, we learn that Mark Duplass's character is a serial killer. Uh, he takes on a character for each of his victims and uh, brings them in, has them spend the day with him filming, and he takes them through their this personal nightmare. Um, and... And he proceeds to stalk them over the course of the next couple of days uh, and finally results in uh, killing them. The first film has, is his relationship with Aaron. And he um, ends up, in the end, Aaron gives him the benefit of the doubt, is willing to trust him. And an axe is put into the back of his head for it. Um, and at the end of that, the film comes to an end and then Mark, Mark Duplass come, uh, reveals Mark Duplass who has been watching the film that he's made the film that he's just shown us the audience so what we saw in Creep was his version of those events so there's stuff that was taken out we have what he wants in there this is his version of that story this is what he needs and because of the, the way that is done and, and the way once that realization kind of sets in the way you, you start reprocessing all the information about that character um, and it it's it's a really fascinating character study um, absolutely fantastic performance again by Mark Duplass in the sequel um, and but yeah the sequel it picks up and it, it does the same thing he puts out another ad um you know it's him up against the new camera person and their night together but every step of the way this film does something unexpected um film has a cold open you you're introduced to another one of his victims that he's toying with and he kind of just lets the cat out of the bag tells him you know yep this is what's going on i've actually been filming you this whole time and uh sitting there and just pulls the knife out slices his throat blood splatters all over the wall and he's just like god damn it and he's all and he's all upset and basically he's going through a midlife crisis uh killing was his purpose and he has lost meaning in that purpose so he has decided in all of his wisdom that his next victim or that this 40th person he's already had 39 victims um and that for his 40th film he's not going to be making a film for himself he's going to be making a documentary that exposes who he is where he reveals to the world who he is and he reveals this to the 
to the camera person right off the bat who herself is a very interesting character she's got a um she does this this is what she does for her struggling youtube channel she's no one's watching it uh she's not finding the, the most interesting of people they are interesting but they're not the type of people that you would want to watch a show like that for um and she kind of realizes that her show is going down the drain and she needs something she needs to kind of risk it all uh, if she, if this is gonna happen so she does and he lays everything out on the line for her and she goes along with it and so right off the bat you're immediately taken aback because he's told her I'm a serial killer and she's just like no you're not but you're probably not safe. Something's off with you. But I'm willing to give this. I'm willing to go through with all this and see where this leads. And every step of the way, every time you get to something that is just like, oh, okay, so we're oh we're gonna do that again. Cool. And it doesn't go the way you expect it to. Every single time. And um, almost almost last Jedi level. Um, and but unlike last Jedi. It all works. It all works for the for the for the overall story. I don't think this film works as well as the first film. Um, I think the ending kind of stumbles a little bit, but there is plans for a third. So if that when that third film happens, we will see. That might change my opinion of this. But as of right now, as just a standalone film in comparison to the original, I do prefer the original. Um, but the second one is a fantastic sequel that exceeds in almost every way conceivable. It just doesn't quite stick the landing. Um, and that's really the, my only issue with that film. Everything else is absolutely fantastic. Um, but I, I realized I kind of just went through the whole film. I didn't go into the ending because... I still want you guys to see this movie. I don't want to talk about everything. Um, and I realized this one, I really went into spoilers. So this is more for if you've seen the film, if you've seen the original film, and I guess I'll clarify that on this, but if you've seen the original film, you can watch this one, but I'm not going into what this film ends up doing. I would not watch recommend watching this without having seen part two. But if you are so inclined to, I'm purposely choosing not to say things so you can still retain a certain level of surprise when you do see this film. If you do see this film, please see this film. It's it's really worth your time. Uh, and it shouldn't really cost you that much money. You're probably already paid, paying for it in your subscription service. You just don't realize it. Um, but that's, yeah, again, um, like I said in the other video, the whole reason that I got around to actually watching these films is due to the, 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 the recent Ryan Hollinger video. Uh, I'm going to link his, his video here. Please check, check his, out his content. It's really good stuff. Um, but that's, that's going to wrap it up here, guys. Um, again, thank you for watching my, my videos. I know these go, go on a bit long. I know I'm a bit of a rambler. Um, but th thank you guys. Uh, let me, let me know what you guys have been thinking of this. Um, let me know what you think of these movies, what you think of this video, what you think of this channel overall. Uh, if you have any ideas on stuff I should be covering, stuff that, or types of videos that you want me to do, let me know. Give me ideas. Um, but um, until then, uh, that's going to wrap this up and, um, yeah, stay safe all. Bye.